Desi, you you leading Atlanta, you in DC, y'all the internet guy. Not so much internet, but you know y'all the guys yeah. that everybody mm -hmm. know. How about since I've been around this for a minute and I know what the f going on, I tell DC say DC just I just did Huntsville with DC two weeks hold ago. It, paid it. me to watch his set and Tell That's me what hard. to do. Wow. Desi, I ain't trying to get you to do nothing. I just need, I'm watching you too because I'm still around this motherfucker and I ain't around here for nothing. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Wow, I gotta ask you about the, the internet thing. I always, this is the question that originated from Boss Talk 101 that all comedians get asked on here. You basically are a guy that came up before the internet phase was in. Do you, do you have internet comedians that basically do skits, do quick jokes? Um, they're 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 making a different amount of money than what they used to make when they first started. Do you have? Do you feel like their funny is the same funny that you guys do? Well, I always say the same thing. It's like it's like your mama cooking and the chef cooking, but they both is good. A chef. Bring your shit out all pretty the right way and your mama get it together well good for consumption the way she like it, the way she know how. So that's the internet comedian. The mama cooking then as a chef, the the, the comedian, me, I know how to whip it up. And, and and internet comedians are so necessary. They bring so much into the comedy world. To to go out and tell somebody that you a stand up comedian is a big that's a reach. Mm. That's a hell of a reach for so a lot you don't, of So you think it's a different... It's a no, I'm different. saying that you can go on to be a stand-up comedian because mm -hmm. look at Tony Rock. Look at Bruh Man. These niggas weren't no comedians. They just went on Tony. Not saying he saw his brother. That's my guy. But his brother was doing it. He started. Bruh Man said, you know what? I, I ain't acting as much. Why don't I get this money that's out here? Right. DC Young Fly was on the internet and he went and got that money. He's getting better at stand-up. Yeah. He's... He's becoming a great comedian. So yeah. you Country can't Wayne did it say he started internet and then he's been I ain't seen off. Country Wayne yet. You didn't see the Netflix special? Not yet, but I'm going to check it out. Yeah. I ain't seen it yet. And when I look at it, I will give my opinion on mm -hmm. it. But still, that's not going to make him any less to his fans because he bringing some people that probably wouldn't have never went to a comedy show out. That's true. That's real. Even if I have my opinion on that special... I still salute Country Wayne, regardless. Yeah. It ain't no way where I can't salute him for what shit me. My but, mama but, like him. <laughs> <laughs> but for, for him, to, one thing you said early on is just going out there is big. When a person can go out in the front. Yeah. And, but to build up, to be on a Netflix special, to come from where he come from doing the skits like he was doing them, to being up there on a, how long they stay on there? 45 minutes, an hour? To an hour or more. Yeah, up there on that Netflix special, about an hour, ain't it? It depends on how long you want to do. That whole I mean, that whole go for. I mean, minute. whatever. Here, Chris did damn near two hours, but it's what you do. I mean, it ain't like it's a certain amount. A nigga, do thirty or fifteen on Netflix and get out of there. I ain't gonna mm. lie. I be. I told everybody I want to see the drip uh, characters on his thing. Yes, yes. What? Why you doing this? You said you wanted to clean out the house and all. Yo. You know, I want to see the, see? the buddy. Okay, I mean, uh, no. Give me what you want to give me. No, now. I'm gonna still get eight. But you want to see it, right? Yeah, buddy and so, the drips. Yeah. So, so that's all really matters. In you know that. what I mean? Because that's who. That's what made him. Yeah. You know, notice to me. Mm. Now that ain't everybody might not be like that, but for me, those characters on the, on that stage would be a that would be a a plus for his you know for his fan base because they already love him. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So I saw that seeing him act like he some rapper. Shit, that shit was funny to me. <laughs> and the thing about it, a lot of these guys, like when we were, when I did Big Facts and I said the thing about Desi Banks not being a comedian. I didn't hear that part. Wait yeah. a minute. You said he's not a comedian? No, I said that on there and it was a little confusion about it. Yeah. Okay. yeah we, 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 ran, we was at Dave Chappelle's show with uh, Kevin Hart and it was a little confusion about it. But, you know, everything got straight. Like when I said what I said was, it wasn't about him not being, not doing comedy on stage. I was saying, I was just talking about the open mic. And he talked to me about it afterward and was like, yo, I really do need to get in there. Wow. Mm. Because it was just advice. Sounded fucked up. It's almost like you telling the woman, you stink. You need to get in there and do something to yourself. Mm. And she'll be offended by it. Mm. Like, bitch, I'm telling you. you so she's going to the bathroom and check and she realized <laughs> yeah, that she so is fucked. So I'm fun. like, Desi, you, you leading Atlanta, you in D.C., y'all the internet guy. Not so much internet, but you know, y'all the guys yeah. that everybody mm -hmm. know. How about since I've been around this bitch for a minute, and I know what the fuck going on. 
I tell you, DC, DC just, I just did Huntsville with DC two weeks hold ago. It, paid it. me to watch it set and tell That's me what it. to do. Wow. Dizzy, I ain't trying to get you to do nothing. <laughs> I just need, I'm watching you too because I'm still around this motherfucker and I ain't around here for nothing. So that, that that's big though that you reaching out to him though like that's that. fucking right. That's hard, bro. Yeah. Because that say that you want to see him get better. Right. Fucking right. Oh, and you you rooting for him, but I'm not. You know, I ain't gonna lie. That's the same thing. Faison said that he was like, I'm not saying that they not good. I'm just saying your football coach don't come to you and say you're doing a great job when you suck. He telling you you got to get better, and I'm gonna show you how. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So that's really what you're saying for us. You got if if I got to get them better. If I want to see them get better, I got to do something about it. I want to watch they set. It's it's definitely it, it's it's fifty percent selfish, fifty percent unselfish. What I mean is, is that I need them to get better because my grandkids gonna want to go to another pool. They gonna get sick of my pool in the mm-hmm. backyard. So I called Desi Banks. I called DC. I called Duval. I'm gonna drop these kids off. I know you ain't here. I'm gonna let them jump your fence. So I need everybody around me to get some money because I ain't got but forty eight more days left. So. Let me enjoy this shit. And I ain't been in the game this long for you niggas not to blow up. Blow up, motherfucker. But it also pushes a lot of the older comedian because sometimes I would feel like, because I've heard this before, they've been doing the same, not same set, but they change it up. But it if some younger kids come up and they're really good, it pushes them to even push even harder. Well, that ain't gonna never do nothing because David Bland ain't gonna do a do ma- new magic trick and R. Kelly ain't gonna do another <laughs> song and what else? Diana Ross gonna keep doing it. Ain't no amount of high enough. You're not finna force nobody to change up their great material. You just gotta see what they do different with it. I'm not, I, I hear people talk about it and I have to right. educate them on it. Like, nobody switches nothing up. Mm. You go watch uh, whoever. Who, who's left? Who's still out there doing it? Frankie Beverly, he's still doing it the same, same way. way. Yeah, ain't nobody, ain't no new match. Though if you go to the circus, he gonna hit that tiger the same way at the same time. Cause if he hit in a different, that tiger gonna tear his arm off because you want him to do something new. Yeah, they do the exact same. The clown come out and is crowded tears in the crowd at the same time. Them cheerleaders come out and do the same cheer every game. If you look at the mass and pay attention to the cheerleaders, it's the same cheers, mm-hmm. man. Well, you talk about you talk about um, helping the, the the comedians and so forth. But those are when I think about Desi Banks and all of those people, they're already well known. Are there any other comedians that are there hard working that's been grinding that are not famous yet that Plenty of them. you that you have an eye on that you watch? Them, they ain't well known. They about well known to somebody like us that's in the business, mm-hmm. but. My auntie ain't gonna know who that is. And that's that you missing a lot. You know how known somebody you know how unknown somebody is as they get more famous. I thought DC was real known back right. in 2015. Oh. I thought he was very, very known. Then I look at his followers now. I thought Tip was very, very known in 2015. Yeah. Because Tip had 2.7 million followers in 2015. Right. Now in 2023, he got 14.8. Yeah. So I yeah. thought that he was very known then. So it's just like what are we doing here? Everybody is very known. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.